Hey everybody! Since last time I have been working on some things and one of those things is this server. I wanted to add some more storage to it for a while and I also wanted to add a little bit of redundancy. So I did both of those things in one project and also got to do some 3D printing. Fan on the side here, since I'm blocking off most of the front cooling with this rack, I added fan. I also spaced these out enough that there's a little bit of airflow between them. So hopefully cooling the drives as well as just keeping airflow in the case. On the front, you can see that it doesn't have a front panel. Uh, I just took that off because I needed access to the screws to mount this thing, but I also found that the airflow is significantly better. So I might modify the front panel. Cable management in the front looks pretty good because it's not so good on the back side. But I don't have much space. And so I've got all these power power cords, power cables uh, for the SATA power. And then I've got these new data cables going to the HPA. And they're just uh, two cables or single cable to four, four ends. Everything else is just mashed in there. It's a mess, but it works. So let me just get this back panel back on. Well, mostly good enough for now. Um, yeah, and then at some point I'll be intending to put a better uh, improved thing here so I can put the disk drive back in and then have a little bit more compact space for the 2.5 inch SSDs. Otherwise, that's an overview of the case. So I've got space for eight drives. Uh, I've got seven loaded. Uh, I've got these first six are just matching two terabytes and then I've got one three terabyte uh, SATA drive I already had in the system. This is all great, but what I've noticed is I might be running out of power. So this is a 500 watt power supply, and when I load individual drives, any one of them, they work just fine and the, and the system recognizes them. But uh, as I add more, once I get to 6th or 7th, then they all fall off the system and and I recognized and they start chirping. You can hear them spinning up repeatedly. Everything works individually and it only happens when you get all of them in there. So I'm kind of suspecting that the 500 watts isn't quite getting it for this application. We'll probably have to fix that next before I can, can use this as a fully fledged NAS. But till then, I'll link files for this uh, drive bay as well as all of the caddies link those down in the description below, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.